It denies the miraculous. It denies the unseen world. It denies the eternality of the things that are not seen. Ha. For the things that are seen are temporal. The things yeah. that are not seen, they are eternal, somebody. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yes. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Eo 14.14. Job 14.14. The question of the ages has been answered through the resurrection of Moshiach, through the Ruach of life that has come against the Ruach of the Sadducees. I'm here this morning as an enemy of the Ruach of the Sadducees. Amen. I am here as a representative of the Ruach of life in Moshiach. If a man die, if a man die, will he live again? Page 765. If a man die, would he live again? All the days of my struggle, I will wait till my change comes. It may not come to morning, but I'll wait. It may not come tonight, but I'll wait. It may not come next Rosh Chodesh, but I'll wait. All the days of my struggle on this earth and the flesh, I will wait because my change will come. And if you don't believe that the body that went into the grave is going to come out of the grave, glorified, then you are not a child of the resurrection, you don't know the word of Yahweh, and you're walking in a spirit of sadness and unbelief. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. And you know those folks who come to your door? Yeah. And they just want to give you one of those little magazines for a donation of any size? Hello? They believe, oh, they believe Yeshua rose, but they believe he, he, he was Michael, and he's going to rise as Michael, and he's going to rise as a spirit. Listen, if you believe Yeshua rose as a spirit, you're not even saved. Amen. How does that sound? What are you doing Can I be any more diplomatic? Yeah. If you believe Yeshua rose as a spirit being, other than the same body that went into that grave, yeah. you are not biblically saved. That's right. I'm talking about a radical Yahweh. I'm talking about a Yahweh of radical, radical revelations and eternal bliss. I'm talking about a Yahweh who knows how to, how to, how to, how to douse out and drown the spirit of the Sadducees, which is a spirit of unbelief. It is a spirit of denying the miraculous, denying the unseen, denying the realm that is eternal, somebody. I'm talking about the Ruach of life versus the Ruach of the Sadducees. I'll wait. I'll wait. When my mom, she died in the faith. She died in belief. She died with a circumcised heart. I'll wait. I'm not in a hurry. I'll wait. Because Yeshua is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And when he appoints the time, and the hour is coming, and now is, when the Son of Yahweh will call forth all who are in the graves, and those who have done good will rise to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of damnation. The hour is coming, and now is. That's right. Oh, Baruch Hashem Yahweh. I said, Baruch Hashem, yeah. Yeah. Go with me, Yochanan 5. This is the Ruach of life versus the spirit of the Sadducee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm on fire. I'll tell you what. I got the fire of Yahweh burning with the word. I'm going to cover all the resurrections of the Bible this morning. There are more than one resurrection. I'm going to cover every one of them this morning. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. We're going to go to the school of Yahshua this afternoon. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Yochanan 5, 28. Yochanan 5, 28. Do not marvel at this spirit of Sadduceeism, because the hour is coming when all those who are in the tombs will hear his voice. They shall come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life, those who have practiced evil matters to the resurrection of judgment. Yochanan 11. Yochanan 11, 24. Martha said to him, I am not, I don't have the spirit of the Sadducee. Martha said, I know that my brother Eliezer is going to rise again in the resurrection at the last day. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. At the last day. Yahshua said, no, you got it wrong, sweetheart. The last days has just showed up. When Yeshua came the first time, the last days just showed up. And we've been in the last days for 2,000 years. And now at the end of this age, the end of this 
of, of this age, at the dawn of the Atid Lavo, oh. the age to come, we are in the last of the last days. Yes. The last days started in Acts chapter 2 in the temple, not the upper room, in the temple, when Shimon Kepha stood up and says, this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel in the last days. When I'm speaking what the prophet Joel speaks, when you're seeing these signs and wonders, it is the last days. Yes. We've been in the last days for 2,000 years, Amen. but now we're in the last of the last days. You with me? Yes. So, Martha says, oh, I know, I'm not a Sadducee. I'm like you, Yeshua, I'm a Pharisee. How many know the Pharisee is, a Pharisee is not a dirty word? No. No. He was a Pharisee. He didn't say, beware of the Pharisees. He said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Amen. Their doctrine, their condemnation, their, their, their hypocrisy. Their leaven is their hypocrisy. They got all the doctrine right, but they don't do the doctrine. Yeah. But Yeshua was a Pharisee. And your old church told you that Pharisee was a dirty word. I want to be a Pharisee. Yeah. I am a Pharisee. Amen. Today, in modern vernacular, a Pharisee is an evangelical Christian. <laughs> you know what the Pharisees believed? In the physical resurrection, in the coming of the Messiah, in angels, in the unseen spirit realm. Does that sound like evangelical Christian doctrine? Yeah. Sure it does. So Pharisees is not a dirty word. It is the leaven of the Pharisees or the what? The hypocrisy of the Pharisees that we are to be aware of. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Yeshua said, no, Martha, you, 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 you got this wrong. Yeah, I know you, you don't have the spirit of the Sadducees, and I know you believe in the physical resurrection of the, of the righteous, the saved, the believing, but... The last days is here. I am, verse 25, I am the resurrection. I am the anastasis. I am the stand-upness. The, the Greek word for resurrection, anastasis. Anastasis. You know what it means? Stand up. To stand up. It literally means that those who will be raised from the dead will not just come out of the grave. They're going to stand up <laughs> out of the grave. They're not going to be rolled out. No. They're not going to be pushed out. They're not going to be carried out. They're going to stand up and walk out themselves. Because they're going to hear the voice of the Son of Yahweh. Hello? Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Yeshua said, I am the resurrection and the life, and the last day is here. I'm in front of you. The Mashiach is coming, his first coming. This is the start of the last days. And we've been in the last days for 2,000 years. Everyone who is living and believing in me, We'll never die at all. Do you yeah. believe this? My goodness. If a man died, Job 14, 14, will he live again? Yeah. Do you believe this? I am the, Yeshua said, I am the resurrection and the life. Amen. He that lives with faith and belief and trust and will not in me will never die. See, I was sharing with Vanya the other day. She can't see Sam. Sam can't see her. Does that mean she's not alive? No. Sam can't see her. He's in another realm. He's in another dimension. She can't see him. But does that mean she's not alive? No. Of course she's alive. She's here with us today. So is her son. Amen. Amen. In the resurrection, we will be multidimensional, and then you will see the, the saints of Yahweh. They will see you. You'll be able to see in different dimensions Hallelujah. in the resurrection. Because like the angels, they're multidimensional. Yes. Yeah. Right now, I can't see my departed loved ones. They can't see me. But in the, in the resurrection, we're just like the angels. We see it into multi and many dimensions at one time. Hallelujah. People always ask me, can, can I talk to my mom? Can I talk to my No. You're going to have to talk to Yahweh to talk to your daughter. Amen. And Yahweh can get the message across. Amen. Now, I've done that. I've asked Yahweh to deliver my mom a message. Mm -hmm. After all, 1 Timothy 2.5 says, there is one mediator between Yahweh and man, the man Messiah Yeshua, somebody. Yeah. And if he's a mediator, he certainly knows how to deliver a message. Yeah. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor and say, we got a heavenly mailman. Yeah. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, he's more than a heavenly mailman. Yeah. He knows how to deliver the goods and deliver them on time. So don't be praying to no dead folks. 
Hallelujah. Just pray to the mediator, he'll get the message. And so I know that if I need to speak to my mother and get her a message, I just talk to the mediator. Amen. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Yeshua lives physically. So will we. Yeshua said, here's the proof. Here's the proof. Because I live, you shall live also. You want proof? Here it is. Because I live, Yeshua said, you shall live also. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Proof is in the resurrection of Yeshua. Join with me, please, to Maaseh Shlichim. Maaseh Shlichim, 17. Acts 17, 31. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Acts 17 and 31. Because Yahweh has set up a day on which he is going to judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed, having given proof of his judgeship by raising him from the dead. Verse 32, here comes the spirit of the Sadducees, ready? Here comes the spirit of the Sadducees, where? Where was this? On Mars Hill, where is that? In Athens, right? On Mars Hill. Here's the spirit of the Sadducees. Verse 32, hearing of the physical resurrection of the dead, <laughs> some indeed mocked. That's the a, that's a spirit of the Sadducees. Some indeed mocked in Athens, while others said, uh, yeah, later. You ever hear the English vernacular? Oh, later. Uh, what does that mean? We'll hear you next week, and next week never comes. Uh, yeah. That's the spirit of the Sadducees. Oh, resurrection's my resurrection. How am I going to eat? How am I going to feed my family? How am I going to pay my bill? How am I going to put gas in my car? You talk to me about a resurrection. I don't believe in... In Yeshua's resurrection, I don't believe in my resurrection. I don't believe. That's the spirit of the Sadducees. Right? They don't know the power of the scriptures. Neither. Amen. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Amen. Now go with me to Maaseh Shlichim 23. Maaseh Shlichim 23. Verse 6. Now Shaul perceiving one part of the Sanhedrin were Sadducees, and the other part were Purushim, cried out in the Sanhedrin, men and brothers, verse 6. I am a Pharisee. Oh. Rav Shaul was a Pharisee. But my pastor told me the Pharisees killed Christ. <laughs> That's why you need a new pastor, sweetheart. Or maybe, we'll, we'll, maybe we can get a rabbi into your life. I'd like to volunteer for that position. Can I be your rabbi? Yes. <laughs> Can I be your rabbi? Yes. Because I come to you as a child of the resurrection. I come to you as a Pharisee. I am a Pharisee, this, not the son of a Pharisee, but I will plan on making my grandchildren grandchildren of the Pharisees. Because a Pharisee is not a dirty word. It was a man who believed in the resurrection. It was a woman who believed in a heavenly realm, a spiritual realm of angels. It was, it was a faith that is considered today conservative evangelicalism, baby. <laughs> Hello? The Pharisee faith was more pure than the modern evangelical faith. They believe in the rapture. The, the Pharisees believe in the resurrection. Who's more accurate? Come to my office, sweetheart, and I'll, I'll, I'll believe me. Give me 15 minutes, and I'll spank the, the rapture doctrine right at you. Amen. Oh, I'm confused. That's right, because you do air not knowing the power of Yahweh in the scripture. Do I believe in the rapture? If what you mean by the rapture is the dead rising when Yeshua returns? I mean, like, like raptured out of the coffin into the first atmosphere over the earth? Count me in. But if you believe in the rapture in the third heaven flying away in a shul bus, count me out. <laughs> count me out. Amen. Count me out too. Pray to be left behind. Pray to be left behind. Pray to be left behind. Yeshua said, two will be in the mill, one will be taken, and one will be left. Two will be in the bed, one will be taken, one will be left. Two will be in the field, one will be taken, one will be left. And then the Tommy Dean were smarter than you and me. They said, where? Who's, who's going where? Where's going who? What's up? Who's up first? <laughs> and Yeshua said, Yeshua said, Wherever the carcass is, 
That's where the eagles, the birds of prey will eat the flesh of those taken away. They said, Master, who's going to be taken away and where? He said, those who are taken away will be eaten by the birds of prey. Do you really want to be raptured and taken away? Bozos? Not you guys. I mean, bozos out there. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble. Because if you do, you might just wind up as someone's Kentucky Fried Chicken. Because they thought the same way you thought. Turn to your neighbor and say, they thought the same way. They didn't know who was going to be taken, who was going to be left. Now, the church has told us, you oh, just pray that you're not left behind. <gasps> if, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, if you're left behind. <gasps> Yeshua said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Ben-Adam. Those who were taken away were taken away by the flood. Yeshua said, the flood came and took them all away. Now, if you believe in the Bible, the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, the flood took them away. The coming tribulation will take away the ungodly and preserve those who are left. Pray to be left behind. Trash those books, burn those books, eliminate those books, and get rid of the spirit of Sadduceeism. Hello. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Hallelujah. I've got a spirit of boldness this morning, and I'm going to let it flow. I'm not going to bottle it, preserve it, shelf it, or warehouse it, somebody. Let it all out. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Hallelujah. Now, where was I? My session is in 23.6. Shaul's in front of the council. Men and brethren, I'm a Pharisee. Well, my pastor told me that he used to be a Jew, but then he saw the light and he converted to Christianity. Show me that verse, would you please? Well, in Acts 23, when he's before the Sanhedrin as a believer, suffering persecution because of the, of the testimony of Yeshua, is he saved or is he unsaved? He's saved. When he wrote the book of Romans and Corinthians, was he saved or unsaved? He's saved. saved. And here we have a saved man saying, I'm not, a, I'm not a Christian, I'm a Pharisee. You guys know that. <laughs> oh, my. Not only am I a Pharisee, my, 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 my parents were Pharisees. Son of a Rabbi Moshe is a Pharisee. I have wings. I don't eat lobster and shellfish. I don't eat pig. I keep the seventh-day Shabbat. I'm a Pharisee. Like I told you, brothers and sisters, I am, I am the Pharisaic legalist that your last pastor warned you about. Because a lot of those folks have the spirit of the Sadducees. You know, you know the rapture is the spirit of the Sadducees? They're not waiting for the great resurrection of the dead. They're waiting for a Greyhound bus to pick them up and fly them out. <laughs> and Yeshua said, oh no, because those who are taken away are going to fall prey to the birds of prey. Pray to be left behind. Pray to be left behind. Yeah. Concerning the dead, look at the end of verse 6. Rav Shaul said, I'm being judged by the Sanhedrin. Why? Because of the resurrection of the dead. I know what I believe in. I stand in what I believe in. I'm not going to be twisted out of what I believe in. And that's why I'm being judged by you today. You know why they hate you? As a born-again believer, you know why? Because you believe in the resurrection of Moshiach. And not just in the resurrection of Moshiach and righteousness and forgiveness and justification. For he was delivered for our offenses and raised again for our justification. Amen. His resurrection has justified you. Meaning, just as if I've never sinned from Sunday school, remember? Hallelujah. Remember when we were in Sunday school? Just as if I've never sinned. Amen. That's why he was raised. And that's why the devil fights the resurrection of Yeshua because he doesn't want you to know what's going to happen to you as a believer. That's why he fights the resurrection of Yeshua because when you understand that he rose physically, then there's great news for you and I because you're about to see what's going to happen to us on one fine day very, very soon. Not long. All the days of my tribulation in life, I will wait till my change comes because the change is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not the rapture, but the change. Hallelujah. For this mortal must put on immortal. This, this corruption must put on incorruption. 
then will be brought to pass to say, oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Baruch Hashem Yahweh! Baruch Hashem Yahweh! Baruch Hashem Yahweh! Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh.